Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for the 20th to the 27th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week, okay? We got the Five of Swords, the Magician, the Hanged Man, the Ten of Pentacles, the Star, Six of Pentacles, and Five of Pentacles. The Moon at the bottom of the deck. Holy moly. Wow. Retrograde showing up here. We don't have any retrogrades in personal planets until December. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do. Ooh, and that one flew out. Let's get it. Um... Oh, wow. Look at that. You are not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. I have to tell you something. This reading is really potent and very, very transformative. There are big, 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 big life changes that are occurring for you. We start off this week with the five of swords here. This is ego. This is winning at all costs. Winning, but who loses, okay? And, you know, are you really victorious if you are, you know, destroying other people and creating deep suffering and challenges for them? The magician card, the hanged man, makes me feel like you um, may currently be in a situation where somebody is very uh, either litigious or um, vindictive or, um, there's like, there's this like energy to them where, uh, it, they feel mean and they feel like they, they don't care to put you down as long as they're up. You got what I'm saying? And this week you're shifting your perspective in the way that you not only manage them, deal with them, but also in recognizing like how much do they actually deserve from you? And what, like, what's the actual scoop here, right? With the magician and the hanged man here, you are going to see a new way to handle this situation using the energy of the universe, using your own power, using your own manifestation skills, using your own mindfulness practice, whatever it is. But the time is not right just yet. See, the time to act on this person is not just, it's not yet. It's, it's not yet. It's not right now, right? Because even though you got the card that says, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do, you got the you're not alone isolation, which makes me feel like you may have to journey alone or self-reflect alone or review, assess, analyze some of the things that are going on alone this week so that you can plant the seeds on how to make this happen okay this is uh this is like the legacy that you leave and co-creating your dream life this is you having this beautiful ability to hope and heal and attract and manifest and bring to fruition the financial stability the family the goals the life that you have always desired and I have a feeling that this person here can sometimes make it feel like you can't. They could even be like conniving or manipulative. And this week, the universe is going to be like, Psst, Libra, let me show you how to navigate that. Let me show you how to deal with them. Let me show you a new way of, um, of understanding how to interact with them so that you no longer have to feel like you're being left out in the cold and taking handouts from them. Okay, this person almost makes me feel like they're very controlling to a degree. And so there's many times where you feel like you have to beg them or plead with them or give in to their demands because if you don't, then it causes more drama, more problems. But Libra, that's very soon changing. Like that's changing a lot faster than you realize right now in this moment, okay? Because this week you're going to get like the blueprint. You're going to get the downloads. The universe is going to be like, hey, 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 this is the way, okay, towards this, okay? Now, let's move on to your love reading here. I will say that the amulet you got is Aphrodite. Aphrodite is all about self-love, your self-worth, self-respect, and attracting high vibrational love. 
and operating from a place of love. We got unrequited love here. There's not enough attraction or chemi uh, chemistry to keep this relationship going. Worth waiting for and pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, this is um, release your ex. This could be an ex that uh, comes back into your life and plays games with you. This could be a person who um, strings you along and then makes you feel like you are unworthy. This person is very toxic. Okay, and the fact that you got Aphrodite makes me feel like the goddess Aphrodite or the goddess Venus, the goddess of love, is wanting you to step into your own power, to have self-love, self-worth, self-respect, okay? Now, if you want to book a session with me, um, take a look at the description box below. Ditto if you want to join my private community. I'm going to move to your love reading now. What the heck did I do here? Oh, there you go. Okay, unrequited love. Let's see what's going on. I feel like you're realizing that this person is not worth it for you. I think you're realizing your worth. I think you're acknowledging and accepting. Um, yeah, the Empress, absolutely. You're like, I'm a baddie. Okay, I'm a baddie and you don't belong, right? There is a huge power of recognizing that not everyone is worthy of you versus you chasing and pleading and wanting people to want you. Five of Wands worth waiting for. Yeah, I think some of you are actually going to be breaking up with a situationship as well. Uh, I think maybe um, for some of you, you're realizing that you don't need to put up with this person's BS anymore. Yeah, wow, pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, Page of Cups because this person gets pissed. Look how angry he is. This person gets angry every time you don't give them what they want. You don't behave the way they want. You don't talk the way they want. Like, they expect you to be a certain way. And if you're not that way, then there's drama. No, thank you. We're not doing that anymore, right, Libra? This is a week where you reclaim your power. You learn to fall in love with you so that you can finally attract the love of your life and you can get this dud out of your life, all right? I'm going to pop this video here to help you confirm whether or not this person is an energy vampire because I got a feeling that they are. If you want to pick up your amulet or book a session, work with me in any capacity, it's in the description box below, right? Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.